Scientists have succeeded in reversing time. Really true, and we're taking a closer look. So be sure to stay tuned until the end to find out how you can plan your next time travel and how we can get the YouTube algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome, Zand. There are thieves who are not punished, and yet steal the most precious thing, time. The quote comes from Napoleon and it is so true. Time is the scarcest resource in the entire universe. No matter how much money you have, you can't buy more time. And yet there are people who steal our time so shamelessly. Let me know in the comments if you know people like this and how you deal with them. Personally, I have a zero tolerance strategy against time thieves but perhaps we will soon be able to be a little more wasteful with our time because scientists have managed to reverse it. But what does it actually mean to reverse time? What is time? There is no quantum particle of time which would anchor it at the lowest physical level. Where is time when it passes? These are all very abstract questions that have not really been solved. Feel free to write your definition in the comments. What is time? I'm very curious to see if we can get to the bottom of this cosmic riddle. For our purposes, perhaps the following definition will suffice. Time is the sequence of events in one direction, cosmically speaking, beginning with the Big Bang. According to the prevailing opinion, space began 13.8 billion years ago in a singular event. In the beginning, everything was compressed into one point without expansion. The cosmos has been growing ever since, right up to the present day, and the sequence of physical events since this initial moment. This could be seen as time. This inevitably goes hand in hand with increasing entropy. Since the Big Bang, the disorder in the universe has been steadily increasing. Just like at home when my wife isn't there. This is what the second law of thermodynamics says in physics. The universe is a closed system and therefore the entropy in it can only increase. We can actually see this in very mundane things. A fresh sandwich gets moldy over time. A car rusts. Living organisms age and die. So surely a reversal of time should represent a decrease in entropy and thus view that of the second law of thermodynamics. That should get us into hot water physically, shouldn't it? It's not that simple, and now it's getting a bit crazy, so pay attention. The fundamental laws of physics are not necessarily tied to the direction of the arrow of time. If you reverse an equation that describes the movement of an object, you can theoretically calculate how it got to its starting point. This applies to fundamental laws such as Newton's classical mechanics, the Schrodinger equation of quantum physics, Maxwell's equation for electromagnetism, and the Einstein equation for gravity and space-time. We can therefore conclude that the most important physical formulas are time-reversible. And if your head is already spinning, then you're absolutely right. Because this leads to quite a discrepancy between the fundamental laws of physics and our everyday experience of time. On the one hand, we have the feeling that time is moving inexorably forward. Sandwiches get moldy and my whiskers get grayer. On the other hand, the laws of physics suggest that time can run in both directions. Some of you will already be asking me nervously, but which way is time going now? Well, I can assure you that time will not suddenly start to run backwards. That would be completely absurd. Some of you will already be asking me nervously, but which way is time going now? Well, I can assure you that time will not suddenly start to run backwards. That would be completely absurd. Oops, that was a strange experience. Just like that. Just like the research team at Darmstadt Technical University in Germany, their experiment focused on the concept of material time. This is a measure of the aging of a material that can be attributed to changes in its molecular structure as time passes. Non-crystalline materials in particular, such as glass, undergo this process as they slowly relax from a glassy state to a stable equilibrium. However, this process takes far too long to simply observe it. The press release from the University of Darmstadt explains the term material time very well. This can be imagined as an internal clock of the material, which ticks differently than the clock on the laboratory wall. The material time ticks at different speeds, depending on how quickly the molecules inside the material rearrange themselves. Oh, Ambai, the Darmstadt physicists now wanted to understand the material time of glass very precisely, 
and see if they could play around with the arrow of time. To do this, they used a rather innovative method in which scattered laser light was used to generate fluctuations in the form of interference patterns in the material. These patterns could then be statistically interpreted to obtain information about the time it takes for molecules to thermodynamically migrate through time. Let someone else say that physics is boring. Let me put it a little more simply. The laser beam on the glass sample scattered the light through the molecules in the glass, creating a pattern of light and dark areas that was statistically analyzed to determine the temporal fluctuations and thus the speed of the material's internal clock. Head of the experiment, Professor Thomas Blokowicz, says, but you can't just watch the molecules fidget. This requires extremely precise measurements, which were only possible with the help of the latest video cameras. The results of this experiment were astonishing to say the least. They showed that time can be reversed at the molecular level. If you reverse the process at the molecular level in the glass sample, it is impossible to tell whether time is going in one direction or the other. In other words, in terms of material time, the fluctuations of the molecules are time reversible. You can perhaps imagine it a bit like a video of a pendulum. Could you now say whether this video is running forwards or backwards? Because if you run a pendulum video the other way around, you only see the pendulum swinging. And it's the same with material time. There are no identifiable directions of the arrow of time. But what does that mean now? Can we now apply this realization of material time to the macrocosm and finally travel back to the worst point in history and prevent enormous human suffering if we just fix this one action? I am of course talking about the time when pizza with pineapple was invented. Unfortunately, this will be difficult because the reversibility of time at the molecular level does not mean that we would be able to completely reverse the aging process of things like glass. The overall process of aging a material remains influenced by the inevitable entropy that throws the universe into chaos. The experiment shows us much more that there are unexpected phenomena at the microscopic level that challenge our notion of time. And it also raises questions about the basis of thermodynamics. The fact that time is reversible at the microscopic level is at odds with our everyday understanding of entropy. This could lead to many approaches in thermodynamics and the study of materials. The press release states, the physicist's success is just the beginning. For example, the extent to which the observed reversibility with regard to material time is due to the reversibility of the physical laws of nature or how the ticking of the internal clock differs for different materials, needs to be clarified. Pretty tough stuff, I know. As soon as time travel will be possible for us, I've let you known. A little time travel joke. Of course, this is only possible if you follow my channel. I know from the YouTube statistics that over half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all. It's absolutely free and you'll never miss another galactic video. So everyone should press the subscribe button. Speaking of time, scientists have been receiving a mysterious signal from the Earth's core every eight and a half minutes for some time now. What's going on? And could it have something to do with the impending pole jump? You can find out all about it in the video below. So travel with me to the Earth's core, and if you want to support my work, visit the Astro Store and browse through the t-shirts and plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.